Now for the second story of the day, on to the second story of the day. I thought this was really interesting. In Euphoria, Kendrick has a line where he says, am I battling you or AI? I'm feeling like Joel Hill Austin. Funny, he was in a flick called AI and my sixth sense telling me to off him, right? And so a lot of people thought that Kendrick got that line wrong because he mixed up Joel Austin. Joel Olstein, the super pastor in Texas, I believe he's in Dallas, with Joel Hale Osmond, who is the actor from Sixth Sense, I See Dead People, right? And so during a film, during a, a, a during the premiere of the movie Blink Twice, AP asked Joel, Haley Joel Osmond, excuse me, his name is Haley Joel Osmond. They asked him uh, what he thinks about Kendrick referencing his name in Euphoria. So here's what he says. And I'm dying to ask if you've been following the like online conversation about the Kendrick Drake. Yeah, just a little bit. It's it's um uh it's getting in. It's in my text inbox. That's for sure. I was shooting in Ireland when all that happened, and I got like a hundred texts in the middle of the night. And I was like, "What is going on?" Do you think it was intentional, or did he mess up your? I think he's too precise. I mean, I don't know for sure, and I'm I'm not gonna uh, assume that he you know knows my exact name, but. Just, when you're, the way I've heard people talk about that and certain analysis that I've read about it, I think that it's an intentional scrambling of my name and that other guy's name because Kendrick's too precise to just make a mistake like that, I think. <laughs> and I'm Kendrick is too precise. I mean, that, that's, that was a debate around euphoria, you know, for all of these things that Kendrick has put together in this Shakespearean shakedown, the preciseness, the attention to detail, the Easter eggs. I have another video that highlights one of the Easter eggs in the Not Like Us video, Kendrick's wearing a monkey shirt. The other video looks at the monkey, things that are happening on the monkey app. Kendrick is very precise. He's precise in his delivery. He's a, he, you know, there's, there's another line that says, what is it, the brakes? You know, there's, I watched another video the other day that it seems to connect <laughs> that line to some, some other things, right? So all this is still unfolding, but <laughs> I think Kendrick is too precise to mix this up. I think this is really interesting that they asked Haley Joel Osment about this, and his that was his answer. But here's the lyric itself, right? A 20v1 is a 1v20. If I got a smack hit, is that right with you? Yeah, bring him out too. I'll clean him out too. Till beam that he better stay right with you. Am I battling ghost or AI? Hit a feeling like Joe, Joel Austin. Funny, he was in a film called AI, and my sixth sense telling me to off him. Now, this is what Genius says, right? Uh, Kendrick then appears to rap Joel Hale Austin, likely because he's focusing on the rhyme scheme off of Austin and off him. However, he is actually referring to both Joel Austin and Haley Joel Osment. This may be deliberate, confusing Joel Austin and Haley Joel Osment to play on the idea that he does not know who he's battling. Joel, Joel Austin is a famous pastor from Texas. Joel has famously been impersonated multiple times, including by AI. And he has also been accused of using a ghostwriter. <laughs> Hail Haley Joel Osment is an American actor who starred in the 2001 film AI and 1999's The Sixth Sense. In the latter film, Osment's character famously noted that he could see dead people. So like Osment's character, Kendrick is battling ghosts. A Sixth Sense is also commonly used to describe people who have a strong intuition. Kendrick is not only referencing Osment's film, but saying that he has the instinct to off or eliminate Drake, right? So... I think it's cool that Joel talked about that. And shout out to the the interviewer who asked him that question. I think it's too precise. I think Kendrick is too precise. I agree with Joel on that. Um, or Haley Joel, rather. I think Kendrick's too precise to do that. <laughs> Unintentionally. But there's layers to everything that's in this song. And there's layers to everything in this battle. Um, and, you know, as time goes by, we keep seeing... Things like we, we we keep seeing more things unfold, 
Uh, but let me know what you guys think about this. I personally think that Euphoria, there was another story that said Euphoria is still in the top 100. It's in that 93 or something like that. But this is a six minute wrap of just bars that's still sitting in the top 100. I mean, that's, that's a feat in itself. You know what I mean? And, you know, obviously Not Like Us is still one of the biggest songs in the world. And then there's news or rumor, I'll say this, there's a rumor that Kendrick is going to own the fourth quarter. You know, there's there's a, a, a tweet from Punch that says, I see death around the corner. You know, that, who knows what he's talking about? Who knows what he's talking about, right? It could be a million, a million different things. Could be a million different things, right? And then there's another tweet from someone who, just some random person. These are just rumors, right? I think we all know that Kendrick's dropping this year. I don't think that's a question. I don't think it's a question that Kendrick's dropping this year. But there is another post that, you know, people are sharing. It says, I have not a single factual statement here that can be proven, so don't drag me. But a very reliable source has just informed me that, that the guy named Kendrick Lamar is about to own the fourth quarter. The holiday season will belong to him. I even was told the alleged title of the album, I hear Mr. Morale is dead. Another musical takeover is afoot. Big step in again, if you will. So these things are floating around. We have to wait and see. But Kendrick is in the zone. I listen to the intro to the Not Like Us video all the time. That broccoli, the way he comes in on that, that's so hard. That's so hard. And then the, you know, the the Easter eggs in that are apparently they're all different song titles from Drake's career or Drake related songs. Uh, but you know. Kendrick Lamar season is here. This is a great year for hip hop. There's a lot of albums that came out this year that I'm really digging. Um, and so it looks like we're going to end on a strong note. But let me know what you guys think about this. Do you, do you guys think that that Kendrick missed, made a mistake when he said Haley Joe Osment versus Joel Osteen? Or do you think he did that on purpose? Uh, my name is Justin Hunt. Like, subscribe to the channel. Follow at the company man on everything. It's all happening. <laughs>